Why aren't you in bed? I wanted to give you this. I made it for you. Poppy, you're supposed to be asleep. Yeah, but... And don't forget, you should be helping Billy and Deb and Ellen Frieda. Not making your own comics. You promised to help them. Sorry. I love your comic book. You did? Yep. It was beautiful. Thanks. Can I have a drink of water? Okay. What's wrong, Daddy? Well, your comic really made me think. About what? I don't want to be like the bird who always looked down. You're not like that, Daddy. But I've got some bad habits. It feels like I'm always yelling, always lecturing, and always finding fault. Yeah, but we're pretty bad sometimes. That's true. But you're just little kids. And I need to remember that most of the time, you're really good kids. With hearts as big as the moon and stars. Hey, Daddy, look! Play in it. But Daddy won't let us. We gotta do chores and then school. 
no school today, and there's no chores either. Today is all about fun. Can we build a snow fort? Yes, you may. May we go sledding? Of course. May we get on shops and make spider butt figures and make a comic in the snow? Absolutely. Hey, look! It's Little Katie! I'll call you out here! Flippy invited me. Hey, look! Do you want to play in the snow with us? Uh, no thanks. Well, folks, a new day has dawned and change is in the air. After a morning filled with play and stomachs filled with pancakes, the children are preparing for a presentation. But first, a parental proclamation. Thank you, Sarah. Hear ye, hear ye. The Cat Kid Comic Club is back! <laughs> Starting today... I want to be more like the bird who always looks up. I have no idea what that means. Just go with the dude. Why the change in attitude, Flippy? It's all because of a comic. Poppy's comic influenced me. Wait, what? Poppy is an influencer? She didn't even read the book. And speaking of influencers, let's all welcome... Today we're going to show you how to make characters. Baby dogs, baby cats, and baby humans. What do they all have in common? They're all little. They're all cute. They're all babies. You're all right. Oh, 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 oh! Yes, Melvin? Also... They all made us say, aww. Actually, that's a good point. They all make us happy. Do you know why? Um, not really. It's because our brains are programmed to love and protect babies. We can't help it. When we see babies, our brains release dopamine and oxygen. These two neurotransmitters Make us feel the feels. It's science. Wow, babies are powerful. Right, and we can use that power when we draw. As this list shows, babies have five important features. If we all draw characters with these features, we can trick people's brains into thinking about babies. And feeling love. I don't get it. Don't worry. You will. These two toys are both the same height. But which one has the bigger head? The baby? Right. And which one is cuter? The baby. Yes. And which one has a tiny little body? The baby. Correct. Look at those little arms and legs. Grown-ups have long bodies with teensy, weensy, dinky little heads. No offense. Now, which one has bigger eyes? The baby! And check this out. If I draw a line across the middle, what do you notice? The baby's face is lower. Right. Babies have low faces with big foreheads. Adults have spread out faces, but gigantic noses and mouths. No offense. And finally, who has a better personality? Babies! Right again. Babies are spontaneous, curious, and playful. But adults are the total opposite. Rules, rules, rules. Blah, blah, blah. Boring, boring, boring. No offense. Now let's make our own character. Using baby power. We start with a big head and add two eyes. You can make the eyes even cuter by 
adding eyelashes. Now I'll draw a baby mouth and two cute little cheeks. But what about the low face? It's gonna be low once I add the french fries. Cool! You can add a little body if you want, or just draw little baby arms and legs. Aww. I want to try baby power. Us too! Look, I drew a baby cactus. And I made a baby sushi. We made baby stuff too! So did we! most of the work. I was too shy. I couldn't even say one word. Yes, but you got up there in front of everybody. Even though you were shy, that was super brave. Really? Yeah, you were both so great, I made you these awards. Wow! Thanks, Naomi. I wish you could teach us stuff every week. We can do that. did it again. My powers are growing stronger. That wasn't your powers. It was just some tricks you learned from a book. No, it's my powers. Welcome back. Today's school works and chores are done, and we got great news to share. But first, the Hacker Brothers have a treat for us all. Robo Chops. A fourth Chubbs McSpider Book graphic novella, written and directed by the Hacker Bells. One day, okay, Big Bow Baby Head, it's time to operate. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Scott? Duh, yeah. Oops, I accidentally cut my mask off. Now let's get started. Remember, Scott, I want to look extreme. No problem. I'll just take this fuzzy coat and cut out two eyebrows. Perfect. Now we get the glue and apply it. Now hold still. Ta-da! I look extreme. Hey! What happened to my new wooden coat? Duh, I think a moth ate it. Yeah, that was a moth. When I catch that moth, I shall unleash the fur of my newest invention, Robo Chubs. Sweet noise. What does it do, Dr. Sprinkles? Well, at first, he was only programmed to destroy Chubb's McSpider Bat. But now, I also program him to destroy all moths. Good idea. Yeah, moths are weird. Now go, my precious. Go destroy Chubb's McSpider Bat. And moths too! <laughs> Meanwhile, hey Chubbs, yes Jake? Do you think there's an inherent order to the universe? Or is it all just chaos and luck? Gee, I don't know, little buddy. I mean, sometimes life feels purposeful, as if we're being guided towards a higher ideal, but other times, everything feels rather senseless and random. Maybe it depends on how we look at it. What do you mean, Jay? Perhaps our viewpoints influence our experience. Gee, that's pretty deep, Jay. Well, if it's true that mere observation can alter a quantum state, then it's reasonable to conclude that our perceptions may affect our reality. Are you suggesting that our universal existence of truth I believe I am, Chubbs. I believe I am. But then, must destroy Chubbs McSpider Butt! Must destroy Chubbs McSpider Butt! Look out, Jake! Zap! He, he, hey, he wrecked our snow, dude. And he made me spill my peppermint cocoa. If it's a fight you want, a fight you shall get! Wait, Chubbs, let's test my theory instead. You mean your theory about perception affecting quantum reality? Yeah. Let's change our beliefs. Gee, that's a swell idea, 
Jake. There's no need to fight hate with hate. Let's hug it out. Does not compute. 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 Suddenly, Robo Chumps enjoy hugs. Robo Chumps enjoy hugs. Hey, Jake, it's working. And look, Chumps, it's starting to snow. But then, hey, what's he doing? Yo, Robo Chumps, stop that hugging right now. Remember your objectives. I'm serious. Don't feel sad, Dr. McSprinkles. Yeah, let's just enjoy the snow. It looks like a lovely little moss fluttering all around us. Moths? Yeah. Is black we're covered in beautiful crystal moths. Moths? Hey, stop saying moths, you guys. Moths? But you just said moths too. No, I just said moths. You said moths again. Now you said moths. Would you stop saying moths? Must destroy moths. Uh oh. Must destroy moths. Get in the van. Get in the van. Get in the van. Moths. Destroy moths! Boy, that guy sure hates moths. Stop saying moths! Will Robo Chumps prevail? Will the bad guys get away? And will Jake's theory of perception defy Xbox Info? Stand peer review? Find out in the next adventure of Chumps Mix Spider Bat. Coming soon. That was excellent. Thanks! And finally, Flippy has some great news to share. Thanks, Sarah. I talked with the publisher lady today, and she has agreed to give you kids more time to make your book. How much more time? As much time as you need. From now on, let's try to focus on kindness, creativity, and fun. Later that same evening. Okay, kids, it's 8.15, so you all have 15 minutes to get ready for bed. If anybody is not in bed by 8.30, I will not get mad and I will not yell. Really? Sweet! Instead, I'll just play my favorite music very loudly. Six minutes later. Hey, Daddy? Yes, Naomi? It's 8.21 and we're all in bed. Under the covers, reading quietly to ourselves. Also, I finished the book. Well, what did you think? It was good, but basically it just tells you to be nice to people and be thoughtful and stuff. It ain't rocket science. But did it work? Did being kind and thoughtful help you to be a better influencer? Yeah. That's good to hear. Good night, dear. Good night, Daddy. <laughs> Go, buddy. Thanks, Daddy. At last, so 